Hello guys, good morning. I hope it's good morning also for you and welcome to another video. And in this video, me and Gwen are going to Brno, which is the one of the biggest cities here in the Czech Republic. And also in this video, we are going to explain for those people who are traveling to the Czech Republic for the first time, how to travel all around the Czech Republic. So we will mention the different kinds of transportation you can use how to buy your tickets, how everything works. So stay tuned and enjoy this video. Hey guys, you've noticed Jacob's hair. He looks already like an alien. No, we will make him like a human again. I'll be showing you my skills in cutting hair for the first time. And we'll see how it looks like after. Like this made me a little bit of offended because I always look perfect. But let's see if she's brave enough to really cut my hair. I'm brave enough and ready for the cuts on my head. So guys, Gwen just finished my haircut, so I hope I look like a human again. So now we can move to the point of our video, which is going to be transportation in the Czech Republic. We will get ready and we can go. Yes. first thing I want to show you guys is this website which will help you to manage your bus and trains, arrivals, departures, times. So here you will put the destination from and destination you are traveling to. You can set a date, for example we will put Friday and the time, we will put morning and then we will hit the search button and now we can see the results for our train. So we can see our train is going at 8 a.m. from Prague, main train station. And also the good thing, you can purchase the ticket online here. You will add it to the card, pay for it, and the ticket is ready to go. And also the good option is available in Google Maps, which can help you find the best and fastest way of travel, of transportation. You will just hit the home location and location you want to travel to and here you can see the options of the buses and trains you can see the bus 46 goes to the main train station or the trams with the exact numbers so it's very helpful and very fast once change guys we are not going to burn this time but we are going to Olomot so first we'll be showing you the things uh, we need to do like uh, riding a bus how it works here in Ostrava. So you will be guided as well, just in case you'll be traveling here in chat and you will be guided the rules and the regulations when you're riding the bus. Hey guys, we are already in the bus station. So the first thing you need to check is they have this um, poster. They are posting every bus station as well as um, the tram station. And they're gonna show you the time available, the days, the time, and what are those buses as well as you can see if it's uh you can really confirm if it's really the exact bus number that you need to to check by this poster as well they have that poster There's so many stations actually here in the czech republic and tram station bus station and every buses have their own station so you have to pick the right station um and also guys the way of payment in the transportation there can be more possible ways how to do it make sure you have credit card and always some cash because sometimes there are card payment terminals you can just put the credit card or but somewhere in the villages or somewhere you will still need to purchase the ticket by coins by cash so make sure you have both options with you and also there are like the super options like you can purchase the ticket online for trains and buses Okay. 
here in the previous clip you could see guys how you can purchase it you will just put the card to that device which did not go well for me it was actually my first time where is already more experienced because most of the time i commute by car and it's when commuting by trains buses trams so guys when you use that make sure you can really change the language of that device to english and if it's only one of you traveling you will just put the card and take it out but if it's already more people two three ten you have to pick the 10 people on the device so that's all because i did not know i did not put so the first five minutes of the ride we were riding just for one ticket for one person uh, i was still not receiving any notification on my phone that i purchased the ticket but now but later i bought another one for me so I will avoid problems because it could happen as well. If you will not buy the ticket, there could come a person who is checking if people are honest. And if you are not honest, you can pay like 500 check rounds, the penalty. So <laughs> make sure guys, you are honest. So you will avoid the troubles. So guys, right now we hit it to the train station where our train leaves to Olomouc and for you guys in all translations you can see this kind of a screen which is showing like which train is going to what destination what time and which rail it's really necessary to make sure which rail is your train because as you can see there is so many rails and you really don't want to step into the wrong train because once it happened for gwen that she was she wanted to go to Prague, but she stepped on the wrong rail and instead of going to Prague, she was traveling to Brno. So it was quite stressful experience for her, but now... Because the ride is also the same going to Prague, it's four hours of riding, so you wasted your time instead of going to Prague, so I wasted my four hours of travel going to Brno. So I had to travel another four hours again from Brno to Prague to arrive to Prague. So it was really crazy. Biggest mistake because there are instances that the trains are the same, like the same company. And it's just that the difference is the time, which uh, two are just um, difference is two minutes time. But I get in the wrong train. So it was crazy. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes Wendy is clumsy, but the thing is that she was able to fix the trouble and get to the correct destination. And here we are guys, this is the train station of the city of Strava. We will go inside and we will show you how to purchase a ticket for trains. So guys, and once you will enter into the train station, you can see this front desk where you will come and you will can buy the ticket, for example, you will say, I want to travel from Prague to Ostrava and the receptionist will give you a ticket and then you are ready to go for your train. Me with Gwen just finished our little lunch and we are going to our train. As guys I was mentioning earlier, when you arrive to the train station, you really have to make sure you are on correct rail. Because as you can see here in the screens, each rail has a number. So for us it's number two. So we are going to wait for our train and let's go to Olomouc. So guys, we just arrived to our last destination here in Olomo. So we are going to move to Zoo Park. And the one last thing we want to show you about buying the tickets. There is also the way there is this cash machine. And Gwen will show us how to purchase a ticket. So here you have the options you can choose from. Don't worry guys, you are still going to receive a change even you put the more money and then the ticket. 
And now you are ready to go by bus or by tram. And also guys, the last thing I want to mention, it can happen to everyone that you are late for your bus or train, but don't worry, here in the Czech Republic is the solution for your late coming. In the cities, big cities, you can find those scooters, bicycles. And the good thing about that, you can rent it for a couple of minutes. So it can help you get to the bus or train station on time and you will catch your transportation and you won't be late for your important meeting. So we will show you how it works and how you can get... We will show you how it works, how you can rent the scooter or bike and be on time. So actually the working of this is very easy. You will just get an app on your phone which is suitable with the company of the scooter. Then you will scan the QR code which you can see right here on the which you can see right here on the bar and then you will pay and you are ready to go and catch your train on time. If you're riding a scooter bike as well make sure that you are turning the bike on its parking spots because they have roofs you have to return it to its parking places shown in the map so you can see it there because in the company when you download a map they have this um, application and showing you as well the places and addresses so you can find it there make sure you return it okay so guys, here we are in the end of our video. I hope it was at least a little bit informative and helpful for you. I hope you will not get lost here in the Czech Republic and always on time on your bus or train. Thank you so much for your support. And if you like this video and you can check our other videos, hit the subscribe and like button. You can always tell and ask us anything in our comments and see you later in our video. And now I have to go because I'm late for my train. So see you later.